Hey guys, I'm Adi Purdila. Welcome to a Web Design Tuts Plus tutorial. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a new web design application. It's from Google and it's called Google Web Designer or uh, GWD. Now, I've only been playing with this for a few hours, so this will be a first impressions video. And right off the bat, I can say that this app is pretty intuitive. I was able to adapt to its workflow pretty fast, so that's always a good sign. It means the good folks at Google have spent some good time working on the user experience. But more about that later when I'll actually create something with it. For now, let me give you a quick tour of its interface. First of all, to download the app, you need to go to google.com slash webdesigner. Uh, this is their, uh, their website where they show off the main product features. And at the very top, you have a download button. As you can see, it's still in beta. So there are a few bugs here and there. But uh, even this beta version should give you an idea of what the application will do, how it how it will uh, look like and uh, and stuff like that. So I've uh, already installed it. This is the, the first screen that you see. And the menu, even though this is a Mac application, it's it's not positioned in the in the main taskbar here on the top. Instead, it, it's positioned here, like a like a normal Windows menu. Not a big problem, I guess. It's still in beta. So uh, it might be changed later on. But let's create a new file for now. I'll just click OK to to go with the standard uh, the standard file. Let's name this test. All right. So this is the main stage, right? It's where you you put all of your components and stuff. On the left side, we see a bar that's pretty similar to to the toolbar from Adobe Photoshop. If you used Photoshop before, then you'll notice. Uh, some similarities in this application and it's not just the toolbar on the left it's uh, it's these panels on the right it's the toolbar on the top uh, so the toolbar on the left basically you select uh, the tools here you have the move tool and then you have a 3d tool the uh, the rotate and then you have another tool for 3d and then it's the tag tool which allows you to insert divs or images video or any other um, HTML element. Then you have the pen tool, which is very similar to one to the one in Photoshop, you just draw stuff like this. And then it's the text tool, rectangle tool to use the canvas to, to draw rectangles and stuff. Then you have a fill tool. This one right here is a stroke tool, which is used to add strokes to various elements. Uh, this is another uh, stage rotation tool. You can rotate the whole stage if you want. Pretty cool. Hand tool to move stuff around basically and a zoom tool. All right, so there you go. So let's go back to 100% here. Now I don't know if you can see this whole interface in the video because it's a bit, it has a, a slightly bigger height than the surface I'm recording on. So let me just scroll down here so you can see uh, so you can see the rest of the uh, interface. Basically, the footer here is for the animation, right? Uh, you have a play button, you have the all the layers right here, and you can add different uh, different animations to them, different key frames. It's uh, it's very similar to to Adobe Flash. If you remember how you used to create animations in Flash. Well, this one is uh, is pretty similar. Over here we have design view. It's basically the um, the graphical interface for this, and you also can view the code, right? So you can see all the HTML with the CSS. It's pretty neat. Here you have a preview button. You can open this stage in any kind of uh, in any kind of browser. This is what it looks like in um, in Chrome. Okay, over here you have the publish. Now publish will basically take everything you've done and create a zip file with all of your uh, all of your necessary files. All right, coming back to design view, we can see that this uh, timeline here can be uh, can be hidden. And also this uh, the sidebar here can also be hidden or shown. Now this sidebar contains a couple of uh, couple of panels for color, 
you know, properties components is, um, is another thing that's specific to, to the Google Web Designer. You can add galleries, you know, even swipeable ones, iframes, map, tap areas, uh, and all sorts of video controls. Events will, uh, will basically allow you to, to create actions for different uh, objects or different states for the objects. For example, if you do an animation, you can create an action for uh, when that animation ends. We'll see, uh, we'll see more about those in the next video. And finally, CSS, you can select uh, a single element here and it's going to display your entire CSS, which is pretty cool. You can, uh, you can change it from here. You can modify its width, uh, its height, color, if you want. If you, want, you want. you can add different element styles. For example, you can add background color. You can tab to autocomplete and then tab again to, uh, to go to the value. So if you want, you can change this to red. So it's a, it's a pretty nice uh, inline editor. Now on the top, this is the last uh, last piece of the interface. We have another toolbar that's actually uh, dependent on the tool we selected on the left side. So if I choose the the move tool right here or the selection tool, it, you have uh, some options for aligning and also stacking so you can send a specific object forward or backwards kind of like working with layers so for example if i uh, select the tag tool i get different options for it if i choose the, the text tool again different options for it all right so that's the applications interface basically now what exactly can you make with it well let's uh, let's see file new and you can see that you have basically two options, either a blank HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or XML file, or Google Ads. Now, in my opinion, for HTML, CSS, or any of these files, you're better off using a normal editor. However, the primary function of this application is to create ads, specifically Google Ads. Now, have a look here. You can create a banner or you can create something ex expandable. You know those, uh, those ads you see on websites that um, you know, get bigger when you hover on them or when you click them? Well, this is, uh, this is what it does. Or you can create an interstitial ad. And notice here on the top, on the environment, you have Double Click Studio, you have AdMob or Generic. Now, this one refers to the SDK or in other words, it's the ad delivery system or the ad network you're making this, uh, this banner for. Now, DoubleClick uh, Studio, AdMob, these are uh, both made by Google. So if you, if you target them, you know you'll have full compatibility. That's why earlier I said that the primary function of this app is to create ads. Now, creating ads is... Um, is something that can be done in a few ways. Either you create a simple ad, like an image, or you can create a flash ad, a flash-based ad, which, you, you know, flash tends to get a bit old now, a bit outdated, since uh, new technologies like HTML5 um, started to emerge. Flash is just uh, becoming uh, obsolete. We then get to the third option, which is uh, to use simple HTML5 with with all of its new features and stuff to create ads and this is uh, something that this app the GWD is very good at as we'll see actually in the next video where uh, I'll create a very simple banner so uh, I'll see you there